Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out to this clinic today. I'm very excited for the special clinician that we have. Uh, first of all, my name is Chrissy Miller, and I'm the director of programming for the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra. Uh, and I remember sitting in class and being in jazz combo this time last year, so I'm very excited to be in here. Uh, just last spring, we had the privilege of taking the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra to Russia, uh, kind of in a whirlwind of events uh, that came together very quickly uh, early in the spring, but um, TV Cultura in Russia, which is their culture channel, kind of similar to like a TLC discovery type channel, uh, contacted the orchestra and said that they needed a house band for their upcoming jazz competition show, which was called Bolshoi Jazz, Great Jazz, Big Jazz in English. Um, and basically it was kind of an American Idol meets Russian jazz competition televised across the country. Um, and they brought in a different um, instrumentalists and vocalists from around Russia to compete. And uh, we're very glad it was a eight episode show that had some tremendous talent, all our, around our age in their 20s. And we're very excited today to have Dmitry Mospan here, who was actually the winner of that competition. So without further ado, saxophone player, phenomenal person, uh, just an all-around great guy. He's uh, been to America before, done some things with Winton and, and Dee Dee Bridgewater, and we're just glad to have him here. So without further ado, Dimitri. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, we, we just play. <laughs> <laughs>
Dimitri writes the hardest music ever. <laughs> <laughs>
Stephen Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me for my English. <laughs> Sounds great. So nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just played the original composition for Awakening. Yeah. Well, it's actually was his original composition, Awakening. Yeah. 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 С выдающимся музыкантом Зенита Гонзалес, Райан Грин, Джеральд Кеннет. Well, the composition was written in New Orleans and one of the records with all the musicians he plays together. Это это был двенадцатый год. Two thousand and twelve. So he's very proud of it. It's really good record too. Yeah, it's a very original record. It's really good. Benito, Benito. Oh, also yes, of course. Yeah, anybody want to purchase his CDs? It's here. This is why I got it. Double price for students, no problem. It's only fifteen dollars. They got together. Special price. It is. It is a special price. Сейчас мы хотели бы сыграть композицию Джорджа Гершвина. Джордж Гершвин стал Summer Tribe.
It's also original composition, coincidence. It's uh, just uh, rhythm changes. Just like anything. <laughs>
jazz scene like where you're from? How did you learn to play like this? So whatever he said, all the names was that his heroes in seven years old. He started mm -hmm. listening the jazz and jazz absorb all of that. Потому что мой дядя, my uncle Dennis, his saxophone player. So it's actually one in family. His uncle was a saxophone player and quite famous in Russia too. Yeah, but he beat him in the Better generation. That was his. That was his. Yeah. Uncle, that was your uncle yeah. who played in the contest. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Sounds oh, like family yeah. competition, yeah. 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 Ouch! Yeah, he did. Ouch! He <laughs> Well, it's only one genius in the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's great. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he definitely is a personal match. Wow. Yeah. I have a question. Russia being a communist country, how hard was it? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> how hard was it for him to obtain information? 
or to have the freedom to play jazz. Father, we're going to have to be with the young man, and he's going to be with the young man. Yes, it was a restricted genre at that time. Well, we're talking about like 1930s, 50s, 60s, what actually Dmitry wasn't there yet. So that was a problem for Russia to play all the genres music have been forbidden. I a little bit remember that, I'm a little bit older, but however, um, and Dmitry is only 30 years old, so for the last 30 years Russia become really open to everything and since like, um, um, uh, 1993, it was opened abroad, you can travel around, and you know, in inside that's Russia, the jazz become very welcome, but yet rare, of course. So we do have some musicians. Валерий Пономарев, он, он приехал впервые в Нью-Йорк 30 лет назад и играл джаз мессенджерс от Бойки. So he said like Valery Panamarov, who is trumpet player, was in New York 30 years ago already and played the jazz with Ben Sonsky. jazz Russia, yeah, the next generation. Yeah, they say, well, the new generation in Russia, they're crazy about jazz, and before they start playing, they already know everything about history and style of jazz. Yes, it's a really calm, a very booming in Russia. The, the judge that, uh, the main judge for the Bolshevik Jazz Show um, was from that generation where he had to like duck the KGB to go find jazz. And this cat, this cat was like, I mean, he had, he can play every instrument. And one time, uh, Duke Ellington was playing it like for some embassy, um, and he like had to duck the KGB, snuck into this place. Some bass player like didn't know the tune, so he got to play bass, and then he moved around to vibraphone. And then he moved the trumpet, so he played every instrument around, and Duke was all like, "Man, you're killing!" Blah blah blah. But like, he he was amazing virtuoso player that was like literally you, you, underground, underground playing, you know. And that was our that was like the main judge for for the uh, for the competition. So it was really interesting. You know, he had a really you, interesting. You, life. you mean the uh, name? David Kovalchuk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my own perception, coming from Russia, I think everything is really coming up and. Oh, Putin cannot stop that. Я еще хочу сказать теплые слова в адрес Игоря Бутмана. Это человек, который действительно сделал, вот, навел мосты такие реальные с Америкой. Я рассказывал, что несколько дней назад ему вручал премию Билл Клинтон в Вашингтоне за вклад со стороны России в отношения международные и за вклад в джазовую культуру. Well, he's talking about Igor Butman, who is very famous jazz player in Russia, who actually even cling, uh, Bill Clinton was appreciated to him for the uh, build the bridges between Russia and uh, United States to get going the uh, uh, you know and jazz playing between two countries and get together, so it was actually a big award. Он имеет очень хороший фестиваль триумф джаза в Москве, и каждый год, то есть начиная с 2001 года или с 2000 года, каждый год приезжают такие музыканты, как приезжал Элвин Джонс, Макой Чайна, So those musicians mm -hmm. come to Russia because of Igor Butman, who actually organized all the festivals and invited all the whatever uh, honor guests since 2000. He has a partnership with Wynn mm -hmm. Marsalis and the Lincoln yeah. Center. I worked for 14 years in the orchestra. 
Yeah. For the last 14 years he plays in his orchestra. Again, it's Igor Putman. So in 2003, Igor Budman brought the orchestra to New York where Whitney Marsalis was actually involved as well. So it's a two main orchestra was uh, playing in Russia, uh, I mean in New York and Russian in New York orchestra altogether. It was a huge deal for them. Any other questions? I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah, you're not going to click on patient like such a thing. No. Huh? Oh, no, no. Just up. You know, you can close it. Close it up. You got that. You got it already prepared. Oh. Closing statement. <laughs> well, uh, if there's no other questions, we wanted to just thank you guys so much for coming and. Uh, just another round of applause for Dimitri.